Hi there, this is Anup here and in this video we are going to see something interesting. How to export CVE IDs from the security scanner to Intune and automatically make applications to fix those vulnerabilities identified in those CVE IDs. You don't have to do any manual work such as searching the fixes for each CV IDs produced by security scanners such as Qualys. You just need to upload CV files produced by security scanner application used in your organization and upload that to Patch Connect Plus and then ask Patch Connect Plus to publish that into Intune just by a click of button. So let's have a look into it. Let's have a look and understand how to get third party CVE fixes into Intune using the easiest method. We are going to talk about Patch Connect Plus, Intune, etc. in this video. So don't skip it. Let's go for it. So what are the basic challenges with security scanners such as Qualys? They do a good work identifying the security vulnerabilities in your environment, but they produce the CV IDs and it is very difficult to find, search, analyze and understand fixes from third party vendors to fix those vulnerabilities mentioned in the CVE IDs. So this method today, which I'm going to show you is going to help to avoid those kind of manual work and Patch Connect Plus will allow you to import the CVE IDs and create associated security fixes available from the vendors into Intune and then you, you just need to deploy those fixes to your devices. So there are some numbers over here 45,000 vulnerabilities reported in the year of 21 and 22. That is not a small number to have a manual patching or even manual analysis of finding out security fixes for each CVE IDs and then creating application one by one in Intune. It is a tedious work for Intune admins or security admins. Now this is the only slide I have. Now it's all about demo. Let's go into it. Demo time. So let's have a look into the one of the previous screenshots of the portal Patch Connect Plus portal. You can see under third party updates, you can see SSEM and Intune tabs. But in the new portal, you can see the SSEM and Intune tab is in the main menu itself. And under each SSEM or Intune, you can see third party updates, application management, and latest CVEs. So this is going to help. Intune and SSEM admins. If you have a separate team in your organization to manage SSEM and Intune, this top tab is going to help us or help the admins. Now let's go to Intune. There are three tabs within Intune third party updates, application management, and latest CVEs. Latest CVEs is the latest feature that is introduced to Patch Connect Plus. So we have talked about third party updates tab and application management tab in the previous video. If you want to have more details, let's look into that video. I will attach the video to the description of this video. Okay, and the latest feature that is included in Patch Connect Plus is latest CVEs and you can see the build number over there on the top right corner and you can check the description of CVEs etc etc and severity of it everything you can see from this particular page called latest CVEs. CVE IDs are there, applicable patches are there, 
patch availability is there all the description details are available in this particular page so for example some of the cves i can see there are four application patches available some of them it is two so for some of them it is one so it it is all about a third party cv vulnerabilities and the third party cv updates the vendors provide there's an op export option over there and th then there are other options like import cv this is the place you are going to click on when you want to import cvs from your security scanners for example qualis if you want to have cvs exported from qualis to over here so in in this page you would be able to see this is where you can import the files from security scanners and it supports csv xml xls x all all those types of files but in the file there is no particular format it just require to have a cv id okay there should be cv ids in the file that is the only requirement but if you have a third party scanner and you have a file from that scanner like qualis qualis provides xml file and then you can directly import that particular file using the import button over there well if you click on import button without browsing the file this is go <laughs> this is what going to happen so you click on browse button and select the xml file and then click on import cves button to get those cv ids imported into patch connect plus so now you can see vulnerabilities are there so 11 vulnerabilities and the details are there from the file so just click on import cvs and you would be able to see those cvs are getting displayed over here or imported over here in this page so those are java vulnerabilities and cv ids for the java you can see the applicable patches details also over there patch availability as we discussed in the previous session now if you click on the link you can see all the cv id details over there it is related to java and what is the description of cv id etc there is an external link option as well now if you click on four fixes the number four digit you would be able to see the screen patch description patch ids and which are the fixes etc it is for java 8 java sc etc all those details you can see and severity also over there moderate severity important or critical those things are there but these are not published yet to intune so that is the next step and over here there's an option to export it if you want and there's an option to add additional columns from this button all the columns are selected for this now but the entire portal is having this additional columns button now what i'm going to do is select one cv or all the cvs and and i'm going to fix those cvs by just clicking on fix vulnerability button and now you have an option to publish all the patches available for that cv or if you want to test one or two patches first that is also possible i have selected all and then there is an important option over here pre-script post script this is very important because if you want to have a specific behavior before installing the application or after installing the application then you need to have this pre-script post script details and even for notification etc etc if you want to provide some specific notification or countdown so that the business people can close the application there won't be any impact for end users etc etc so postscript and prescript options are very important you can upload the scripts over here from here using the browse button over there and save it and there are other options also bulletin id severity etc etc once you are ready you can just publish it 
and it will automatically do the magic to upload the all these patch packages as an application into intune so you don't have to do anything specific to create a separate application etc etc in intune so you can see the status you can see the updates in the third party updates node the status is shown over there on the top notification bar patch publish in progress you can click on that hyperlink to get more details which are the patches already published and which is in progress etc from this window if you scroll to the right you can see published status in progress is the one and yet to start the other one quickly look at the numbers 48 is the published patches on this screen now once all the patches are published it will be a different number okay now it is 49 one patch is already published so while waiting for this it is going to take time because it has to create intune packages it has to upload those source files into intune etc etc right so there are lot of work being done in the background automatically without any admin interaction so that is pretty nice you can take a coffee break quick coffee break and come back after you click on publish button 51 updates are published now let's go to intune portal and check whether all the updates are published automatically into intune or not if you add a date created column into intune apps this is the portal intune portal and go to apps windows filter on windows and then the date created you can see three are there already java related uh, patches or applications which are already created for us by patch connect plus if you click on one of the application you want to see what is happening over there you can see the publisher name etc patch connect plus and then if you go to the properties and then if you want you can kind of deploy it by editing the assignment section over there deploy it to the device group etc etc in sccm also you can see different things like third party updates you need to follow the same process which i showed for intune so there is no difference in process it will automatically create the applications in sccm as well similar to intune and i just wanted to show you the xml file which you get from the scanners such as qualis this xml file is created by qualis and you can import it directly into patch connect plus but the requirement of patch connect plus for the import is just cve id details nothing else now let's look into a new reports new set of reports that got introduced into patch connect plus recently there are SCM reports as well as Intune reports. We are going to look into some of the Intune reports, installed patches report, and in the installed patches report, you would be able to see the details, patch description, computer name, etc., etc., severity, bulletin ID, patch ID, etc., etc. Over here in this report, some of the patches are installed, some are not applicable, some are failed. Failed are important because this report shows failed. You need to look into the failed report and you need to understand why it is failed. and what is the reason for the failure and you need to fix it try to fix it and you have an option to export these reports as well and you can add additional columns like patch name os name etc system patches another report which will provide you the computer name os version os name and then who is the user how many patches are installed how many are pay failed this is kind of a dashboard that is going to give you a overview of your patch deployment in your organization for a particular device and there's a search option over also there on the top right where you can search for particular devices another report is failed 
patches report so over here you would be able to see patch description patch id severity etc etc failed systems how many systems it's got failed etc and the failure summary will give you a dashboard kind of experience with more details what is the reason for the failure what is the error code this is going to help you with troubleshooting in much better way now that you have seen the demo field video and you have experienced the magic such as downloading the cve id details from your security scanner application and importing that cv ids to patch connect plus and then patch connect plus will create all the security fixes available for that cv ids and by click of a button you can create applications in intune with those fixes isn't it very easy let me know in the comments hopefully this video was helpful Thank you all for watching. See you next time.